What we see on the screen is a square field ABCD. Its side, that is 8 meters. Now look at vertex A. A horse is tied at this point with a rope of length 4 meters. The question that we need to answer is what area of the grass field can the horse graze? Now look at the figure again. The horse can graze any part of this region, region AMN. And region AMN is nothing but the sector of the circle. So to calculate the required area, we first need to understand how to calculate the area of a sector. So let us take a general circle. There. Look at sector AOB. The angle that subtends at the center is theta. It's time we use the unitary method. The angle formed at the center of the circle is 360 degree. So this means for 360 degree, area of the circle is pi r square. What would be the area of the sector for 1 degree? That would be 1 divided by 360 degree into pi r square. And if the angle subtended at the center is theta, then the area of the sector would be theta by 360 degree into pi r square. So we now have our formula. Area of a sector of angle theta equals theta by 360 degree into pi r square. So let's go back to the question again. What is the angle of the sector here? That means we are talking about angle A. Angle A that equals 90 degree. So the area of the sector here equals 90 degree by 360 degree into pi r square. Pi is 22 by 7. What is the radius? That is nothing but the length of the rope. 4 meters. So this is the expression that you have. You simplify this and you will get your answer as 12.6 square meters. So the area of the grass field that the horse can graze is 12.6 square meters. But let's not stop here. Let us also look at a related topic. Suppose we need to find of the length of the arc up to which the horse can move. That is this length, the length of arc Mn. How do we do it? To understand this, we again used to apply the unitary method. So look at this figure again, a general circle. We have an arc AB. The angle subtends at the center. That is theta. Now for 360 degrees, the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. So for 1 degree, what would be the arc length of the sector? That would be 1 by 360 degree into 2 pi r. So if the angle is theta, then the arc length of the sector would be theta by 360 degree into 2 pi r. This is our formula. Length of an arc of a sector of angle theta. This equals theta by 360 degree into 2 pi r. So let's use this formula in the question again. Go back to the figure. Theta, we know that is 90 degree. So the length of arc Mn, that is 90 degree by 360 degree into 2 into pi. That is 22 by 7 into r. Length of the rope, 4 meters. You simplify this expression and you get your answer as 44 by 7 meters. So the length of arc Mn, that is 44 by 7 meters.